What's up, creators? So in the last video, I had a new mic, and I guess I didn't have it configured right or something, but hopefully this one sounds a little bit better. So let me know in the comments. So today's topic is going to be stateless versus stateful widgets. So before we start on those two widgets, we got to make sure we know what state is. So the simplest way I could put it, a state is something within a widget that can change. So for example, let's say we have this app right here. All the app is is just going to be the word like and an icon that's going to change from an outline of a star to a filled in star. That means this star right here, it has state. The state of this star is either filled in or not filled in. In coding terms, it's probably a Boolean variable state, whether it's filled in or not. A change within this state can cause a rebuild. So you, if you know in Flutter, there's a set state. That means you are setting a new state to the whatever widget it is, and you want the widget to rebuild. So given that there is state, there's two types of widgets. There's a stateless widget, which has no changing state. And then there's stateful widgets, which have a changing state. Get out of here. State. So for this app, let's go through it. We'll have the actual my app, which will lead to a home screen. Home screen. And the home screen will have two widgets the text widget and a icon. So this icon right here is the only one. That should be stateful. These other three should all be stateless. There's nothing changing. The text won't change, the app bar and the home screen itself won't change, only this one star. A good rule of thumb is you should always make as many widgets stateless as you can. And this is because. Having more stateless widget will cut down on errors since there's less things to be changing on the screen and it will have less it will take less time to rebuild because it, let's say let's say you make the whole screen stateful right then we have to rebuild this whole screen but if we only have this icon being stateful then we only have to rebuild the icon that's pretty much it Let's get into showing you how stateful and stateless widgets look like in code. So, so we're going to be building the same app that we showed in the OneNote. So here we'll have the root of our application, which is the My App class. This is a stateless widget. The actual root of this will not change. Then we go into the home screen. The home screen is also a stateless widget. We don't want the actual screen to be changing throughout this process. And then inside the home screen, we'll have two widgets. First one's going to be called first column, and second one's going to be called second column. And let's define them here. So first column is going to be a stateless widget. Let's name that first column. Then our second column is going to be a stateful widget. First column, all it's going to contain is our like text. Right? And let's give it a, let's align it. So that it is center line. We'll have a like this right here. And our stateful widget 
we will have a state in here. Our state will be Boolean, like I said, and it will be called light. So this variable light is our state. And then if we have a column, and let's say we put an icon in here, an icon button. On Presto do something, but let's save that for later. All right, nice. And then icon, let's do icon. And then inside we'll do, if it was light, we will want a icons.star golden. And if it was, if it's not light, we want icons.star border. And let's also center this. So there doesn't do anything, it's just a button, it's nothing being called. When we press it, we will want to set state, but we want to change our state of the widget, we want to change the light state. So let's do light equals not light. And now this, when we click it, will change the state and cause a rebuild of the widget called second column, and we should see it being updated. This, if you click it, nothing happens in the stateless widget, but the stateful can have state change and things change. I can prove this for to you. So let's go in the first column. Let's put a breakpoint. Click like this. Nothing, nothing happens. Doesn't get rebuilt. But if we put a breakpoint in here, we click it. Boom! Breakpoint gets hit because this widget needs to get rebuilt. That's the very basics of stateful and stateless widgets. Hopefully I helped you guys understand it a bit. This code, even though it's simple, will be on GitHub. If you have any questions or anything, make sure to leave a comment. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share the video also. And thank you for watching.